If you've been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely love creating slideshows in Apple's program Keynote. And to use the word slideshows is really not a good term because this thing can be so dynamic and so full of motion and videos and sound effects that it's not like any slideshow. I think it's far better than uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint program. I'm going to show you a few little things. This uh, is a program I, I do on a multimedia tour about my father. He's an author, and I call the program Patrick Smith's Florida, A Land Remembered. That's my title slide. I'm going to go down and show you a few of the effects I do. Um, this is one of the first real effect slides that happens in the show, and this is how it goes. When this comes on, I tell people, well, I'm from this little town of Cambria, California. It's right on the coast, very small town. Most people have never heard of it. The only reason you might have heard of it is because of this. And then I bring up this slide of Hearst Castle. And usually not too many people in the audience have heard of Hearst Castle either. But then, and I'll point out, I'm using this green cursor here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll point out the coastline here, how rural it is. And I'll also say, in this year, because we're having a terrible drought, I'll talk a little bit about the drought. And it says, we're really having a terrible drought in California. And then I change to this slide, and this fire effect is built into Keynote. It's very easy to do. I brought in each one of these elements, the word Cambria, the arrow, and the fire where Cambria is. I can bring them in individually and time how long it takes between each one to show up, or I can have it show up on a key click, or, or, uh, or just have it programmed to come up. And then I'll say something to the effect that, yeah, it's really bad. We're in the worst part of all the... Uh, drought in California and that's why California changed their state flag. I add my own laugh track because it helps the audience loosen up and you know get that this is supposed to be funny and I'll say but you guys in Florida you don't have that problem you've been getting a lot of rain. I like to start out with some cartoons and some jokes because it loosens the audience up and I say well once I've done after I show them this slide, I'll say, well, once I've done one alligator slide, i got to show my favorite one. <laughs> and then I bring out my laugh track again. So that kind of gets them going. And those are just a couple of the effects that I use. Now I'm going to get out of the program for a second and um, go on down here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. One of my jokes is this one. because I, I like to make fun a little bit of the audience, but in a kind way, and said, okay, you guys here in Florida. I went to a biker bar the other day. So I, I love using sound effects and music and special effects to bring the slides in. And there's so many special effects that you can use in this program. You can build in videos. I, and like on this slide, I say, well, <clears throat> I bring a lot of my dad's books to life with videos. And in this one, I demonstrate how he introduces characters to his book called The River is Home. And I'll just play that little clip. And The oldest of the children was Jeff, who was 19, and Teresa was 15 and Skeeter 13. The Corys had named their youngest boy Skeeter because he was born prematurely, and Pa Corey said that he was no bigger than a good-sized mosquito. Even now, he was small and runty for his age and did not have all that he should have had in the way of book learning. Jeff was tall and skinny with short-cut blonde hair. Teresa was the most unusual of the Corey children. She was like a rose growing in a field of cabbage. She was an unusually beautiful girl with long, flaming red hair, brown eyes, and a complexion as white as snow. It was strange that such a child could have the same blood as the haggard pair that had borne her. Ma Corey was a fat, sloppy-looking woman with straggly gray hair. Her teeth were stained brown from the long years of snuff dipping, and her skin was wrinkled and tanned from the long hours of work in the field before they came to the swamp to live. Pa Corey was built much the same as Jeff, tall and skinny, with short crop gray hair. Ma had always said that he could make more money hiring out as a scarecrow than he could any other way. 
So that's just one example of incorporating a, um, a video. On this slide, I talk about how my dad went to work at Ole Miss, and I'll just show you a few of the little effects that you can apply to a graphic. Like I say, there's just no end of the uh, special effects you can do in this program. Um, I'll show you one I did here when I talk about us moving from Oxford, Mississippi down to Merritt Island, Florida in 1966. I talk about, yeah, then we had to move to Florida and, you know, it's got the funny music of the Beverly Hillbillies going. And then it zooms in and shows the route that we took so you kind of get an idea of where we moved from and where we moved to. And I animate the slide to zoom in, how fast it zooms in, how far it zooms, how long it takes. You've got complete control over everything in here. It's just, it, once you get the hang of it, it's really a lot of fun to play with. And you just can never use all the great effects that are at your command in here. And yesterday I built, um, built a little slide that it's gonna go near the end to show people, like at the end of my talk, I like people to rush to the back of the room and buy a lot of books and videos from us. But we also have a program that we hand out. So I'm going to remind them that you all received a program. And um, here's how I, I bring that topic up. I say, now everybody received a program. And we'd like, we've, read, we've got all the books at the back of the room. But I know some of you can't get them today. So please keep your programs. And you'll notice on the back of the program, you can always order from us by... Um, our website, which is, and then I animate this arrow to come in, and then it brings up the information about ordering online from us, and then it goes on to the end. Actually, I pushed the button too fast there. It wouldn't, wouldn't have transitioned to the next slide if I hadn't wanted it to. Um, you can just do so many things with timing of, a, of, of um, effects and things like this. Here's one I did to introduce three new books. Okay, and um, let me show you just a little bit about how some of these things happen. We'll go up here to, uh, let's go pick a slide up here, like this one for example. What I have here, right here you see the build order, and that's the, the order in which slides come in. The first one is uh, the sound here, this little sound clip. I want it to start playing as soon as the transition happens. Then it brings in this slide. And you see here it says scale because I have this one scaling. And if I go up here to animate, you can see that I have it over a period of nine seconds, it's gonna scale up 175%. You can also build in a move so that as it scales, it goes to a certain place. And uh, then I have this type coming in at the bottom and the way it comes in, it's like a typewriter, it's one letter at a time. And I say, I want you to finish after the third step, which is uh, the zoom on the book and wait one second before you do that and then as the book comes in it's going to move a little bit which is happens after with build 4 which is the one before it no delay so you can build delays into all these effects so many effects look at this your build-ins these are build-in effects so many and you can preview them you know all these really cool effects I love playing with this program but let me play this slide for you and show you how it works. So I kind of make a joke at this point. I talk about the paperback version of one of my dad's books came out. And it's kind of lurid, you know. It's very sexy. It's typical romance novel type of cover. And they really made the key character, Zechariah, very sexy in this. And, and in 1980. Four, when after the 85 after the book came out dad wrote me a letter and in that letter he said they made Zach McIvey so good looking that females will buy the book just for the cover so all that movement in there the way it zooms in zooms out and the type comes in that's all programmable so that's just a real quick look at um, Keynote I love it it's an Apple product you can run it on an iPad on a desktop on a laptop it's um, so much fun and very creative tool to use if you're going to do a slideshow type presentation 
and really I think most people don't really realize they're watching a slideshow because it is so active. So hope you get a chance to try Keynote. I highly recommend it. This is Rick for HowToSellYourVideos.com.